I'm Eager Users and today we're going to look at the easiest ways to run Amiga games which is free and even on some of them you don't even have to install anything. This video has come about mainly because I've got a lot of messages from friends and family and over them saying the Amiga A500 Mini is going to be a great solution because I've never been comfortable with running Amiga emulation and figuring it out and understanding how it all works. So this video's aim is to make it show how easy some of these solutions are where you, like I say, you don't need to install anything, some of them are free, and I'm going to take you through four choices of how to run Amiga games right now. So option one is obviously run Amiga games in your web browser. Yes, it's possible. A few years ago, there was development of running UAE, which is Amiga emulator, had been ported to run in a web browser. Now, recently, since then, Internet Archive also implemented this emulator and also had a number of the Amiga games and software libraries on there for you to just simply run in a browser and check out. It was great. Initially, they had almost the entire Amiga catalog, but due to copyrights and due to IPs and all that, they had to remove a lot of them. And now you just get the ones that I'm guessing that aren't disputed or in copyright limbo or what. I'm not too sure how or why some of these games are legally on here, but I'm not too sure. But for us, the end user, and for people who don't understand how to use Amiga uh, emulators, this is a brilliant, easy solution. Because number one, you don't need to install anything. And number two, it's as simple as pressing and play. As long as you've got a fast computer, you have keyboard and mouse, control pads are a little bit flaky with the solution. So most of them you will have to figure out what the keyboard controls are. They're mainly the cursor buttons and shift is the A button and control is B button. For most games, uh, if you're just interested in platformers. But mouse games work even easier. And I recommend if you want to play mouse games, this is the easiest way to do it. Um, right now I'm showing Batman running in Chrome, as you can see it runs perfectly fine. I believe this is even powered by the Eros Kickstart replacement, uh, which is basically basically like a free Amiga ROM. You know, a lot of people and a lot of users will tell you you will need to go and buy the Amiga ROMs to run games and platforms. Well that's not entirely true. The AROS ROM will actually run quite a few of the old Amiga titles and as you can see here Batman the movie game is running perfectly in this uh, on this ROM. So um, I'd recommend checking this out, it's super easy, you just go on the website, the links will be in the description, um, you'll find loads of classics, loads of demos, loads of games on here to check out and play in your browser. So the second solution, what is this? Antstream. Antstream is a fairly new service that's come about which is basically a package that allows you to stream old arcade games. So they have a lot of the old classic games on here. But what's good about them is they also offer a lot of the Amiga classics. And currently they have made uh, subscriptions free for the first year. I'm not entirely sure if you have to pay for the following year. I'm not too sure how this package works because you used to have to pay. And I've signed up to it, but it says I've got a one year subscription, so where I have to pay, I don't know if it'll be worth it after the year. But you can have a full free year playing all these classic Amiga games and programs all again. Uh, very simply, you have to download the, the a program and it's compatible for Linux, Mac, Windows, Android, iOS, I believe, I think. Um, but And it all works quite simply and it will works well, pretty pretty easily really this is another super easy solution and what's great about this it's also they support online play and uh, tournaments and like charts and like um, so you have to compete with your friends maybe and have a scoreboard for how well you've done in the game uh, so this is another fun easy solution for people who maybe don't know how to run any games again it's nearly all click and play like i say at the moment it's free i'm not too sure going forward how the service will become uh, maintain its free status but for now you can enjoy a lot of new games on Amstrad and again link to the description the third easy solution to running Amiga games is obviously by the official Amiga Forever package it comes with all the official ROMs and it comes with this easy front-end player to run a lot of games 
a lot of games are already even set up for you. This is a list of all the games that are um, included with the uh, program, which people, I think, forget about, all the free games that Kalanta include with their package, so it's not a bad little selection of Amiga games. You won't find all the big classics on here, but you'll find a good selection. Uh, also, the systems are all pre-set up. This is a package that you kind of have to know a little bit more maybe to get on with, so this is most probably the slightly difficult tier, but again, it also comes with what they call um, Retro Platform, which is a kind of like automatic feature that when you download an Amiga game you find on the internet and say, right, I want to just try and run this. If you have this package installed, sometimes it will try and automatically find out what the best settings for it are, what's the best um, configuration for it is, and it will automatically just figure out and play it. So some games will just run straight away after downloading. So it is a pretty simple package. Um, there's most probably is more work they could do in making this even simpler and easier. But, uh, you know, Amiga Forever is most probably the best package you can buy because then also you have all the ROMs legally for all these other emulators and all these other packages and it's most probably the best way to start in Amiga emulation if you want to go forward and carry on to get into more stuff. Unfortunately this package has only really been fully developed on Windows machines. I really hope that Kalanta in the future consider making uh, more effort on making a nice package for Android systems and for updating the Mac system and updating the Linux system. Uh, I think they should be doing really a bit more on that really, making a nice front end package for multiple systems. But for now, if you've got a Windows system, it is a very simple program and most probably the best one to get to the generation. So, the fourth option, Mega AGS. What is that? Well, this is something I only found out about about a year ago. And it's a project that's been trying to make a hard drive Amiga boot up straight into all the Amiga games and all the Amiga collections where you literally just need a control pad. So once you set that, this up, that means that your Amiga will automatically boot straight into this program and you'll be able to play all these games. And it will be the same with an emulator setup. Now, unfortunately, this does require a little bit of work and a little bit of knowledge of how Amiga emulators work. So that's the only problem with this. This is not really an easy solution. However, it is an easy solution to run all the Amiga games because you don't need a keyboard, you don't need a mouse, you can literally control it all through your control pad. It's all pre-set up. All these games just work and it's great for that. Um, so the, that's the problem that this is most probably if it was legally allowed to be the most probably the easiest solution and it's a shame that it's not allowed that it's most probably like blacklisted or whatever <laughs> uh, because it's got too many of the unlicensed games I kind of feel like maybe they should do an official version of this that has all the legal uh, games that can be released you know so that a legal version of this could be released for Amiga users to uh, install and just run because I think it would be quite a good package to have. That would more likely require the removal of quite a lot of the games, but it would be a solution for a lot of people to just run a lot of the old classic games even if you can them. Um, so, you know, this package has like 4,000 games or something like that, all, all set up in a hard drive file. So basically this is a hard drive file that you download and you can even install it on a real Amiga or for emulations. And I've tested this on my Pi system, on my PC system and on my phone and it works on all three uh, very simply and easily. And unfortunately I can't tell you where to get this package from or how to really set it. I could maybe show you how to set it up but I'm not going to because unfortunately that could lead me into it dodgy area but um if you know what you're doing and if you can find more information on the internet about it have a look uh it is a great package uh very well put together and like i say i hope that maybe the people or project leads behind this will put together a more legal version of this package and uh, make it available for everyone so that it's more simpler for people to just download and play a load of Amiga games and programs with. 
Um, so that's my hope for this. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. I'm still trying to get used some better on the camera, but um, subscribe and see you soon.